Let's take a look at how to graph this complicated looking function. It has an exponential piece out in front that I refer to as a decaying exponential here, meaning as x gets large and positive, this thing is going to go to zero. And then I have a sinusoidal function in here. So how do you approach graphing something like this? The way to think about it is to say, well, the maximum value of the sine function is 1, and it reaches that over and over again because it's a periodic function. So I can say the sine of pi x is less than or equal to 1. Well, that means our original function f must be less than or equal to what I get when I replace sine pi x with 1. So it's less than or equal to this function, 3e to the negative x over 2. In other words, this new function, 3e to the negative x over 2, forms an upper bound on the function that I'm trying to graph. And when the sine function is equal to 1, those are the moments where this, this function f of x is going to touch this upper bound. And this upper bound is a simple decaying exponential. It's been stretched by a factor of 3, so it has a y-intercept of 3. And it decays slower than my normal simple exponential e to the negative x. Then I can look at the lower bound. So the sine of pi x is always bigger than negative 1. And that means my original function f of x has got to be bigger than what I get if I replace sine pi x with negative 1. So bigger than negative 3 e to the negative x over 2. And the moments where my curve actually touches this graph, negative 3 e to the negative x over 2, is when the sine of pi x is equal to negative 1. So if I think about my original sine function, um, all those moments where it's equal to 1, the tops of all those hills, they're going to touch this upper curve. So I'll call that the upper bound. And then the bottoms of all the valleys of the sine function are going to touch this lower curve. I'll call it the lower bound. And so what I get is a wiggle that's being squished to zero as I go to the right. So let's pop a graph of this into the slide. Okay, so here's my upper bound. This is the graph of 3e to the negative x over 2. Here's my lower bound. That's the graph of negative 3e to the negative x over 2. And then trapped in between the upper and lower bound is my function f of x. So this upper and lower bound together are sometimes referred to as an envelope. So I could say that I have a sinusoidal function being modulated by an exponential envelope.